The A teams have been decided. Hey guys, what's up? So let's recap the last day of the group stages to see which teams will advance to the knockoff stages. In our opening match, it's Bigotor and Sons of Brazil against Triple Esports of Saudi Arabia. Sad to say, but both teams are already out of contention. In the first game, Triple Esports took control of the entire game, but it took them 21 minutes to secure the victory. The MVP player is Sanji using Teresa. In the second game, both teams fought firstly, refusing to give up. Intense battle continued for 29 minutes, but eventually, it was Bigotron Sons who sealed the game and pushed the series for a decisive third game. The MVP is Super Upa with his sleeping pose. In the third game, Triple Esports took control during the middle phase of the match. At the 15-minute mark, they secured the series, ending their M5 journey with a dominating win. Looking for the minions, Triple Esports takes the series. The MVP is troll, and despite his name, there was no trolling made with his Ruby gameplay. On match 2, we have AP Brand from Philippines and Team Lil Gun from Mongolia. This is a critical series for Lil Gun because if they win even with just a single game, they will advance to the next stage. But if they lose 0 2 to AP Brand, Burmese Golds will be the one advancing to the knockout stages. Game 1 starts with an extremely rare turtle steal for Burmese Golds. We have eaten Eskaja so far from the turtle, but then he procs his passive, and boom, turtle stolen. To be in, especially against a team like AP Red who knows how to finish games. Oh, what news is? Wait, oh, the... how? He just whipped. But oh, despite that amazing feat, AP Bren is still the one holding the lead, and they did not let go until the game was finished by the 17-minute mark. MVP of the game is Flap TZ using the correct emblem this time. With their M5 journey on the line, Lil Gun put up a strong fight on Game 2. They were leading at the 14-minute mark, plus a level 2 Lord on their side. But after a good defense and Lord takedown, AP Bren is back into the game at the 18-minute mark. On the 21-minute mark, AP Bren performed a beautiful Lord dance, zoning Lil Gun away and ultimately securing the Lord. And with it, they sealed the game as well as Team Lil Gun's M5 run. AP Bren! will be undefeated in groups. They will take Little Gun down. That also means Burmese Golds will advance to the knockout stages. MVP of the game is Super Marco with his Claude. Now let's move on to match 3 where we have Homeboys from Malaysia versus the Ohio Brothers from USA. Homeboys is on the brink of elimination while TOB is already out of the fight. And that's why it's a must win for Malaysian representatives. On game 1, TOB went out with guns blazing as they cut the game short with their early game composition. By the 13 minute mark, Homeboys could no longer defend properly with all their towers destroyed, leading to their defeat. GG! Well played, Ohio Brothers! Take game one! MVP of the game is Super Shark as Hilda. Now let's check the action-packed game 2 where both teams gave their all. It was a back-and-forth match up until the 27-minute mark when Homeboys forced their way into the base of TOB. In favor of Homeboys! Oh! Uh, oh no, Zorn, he's really Zorn. deep in there. But now we see Winter. that Warlord is in a lot of trouble. He's got to get out of there. GB lost his immortality. He's right up with the crossbow. Tank breaks Mielo. And now they're going to try and muscle it through for the crystal. And they get it, pulling it to a game three. MVP of the game is none other than Chibi with his amazing retry skills. Moving on to game 3, it was a fairly even match up until the 10 minute mark when TOB got 3 kills and the Lord. Homeboy saw done and prevented the lead from growing any bigger. But it was the relentless combo of best player 1 and Hoon targeting the back lines that caused problems for homeboys. homeboys. This is again another rare tree battle. Oh, okay. Black Shoes being used early. Oh, Getting no. on top of Rizel. He's left alone. It's going to happen all over again. His best player. Sabat with his forward. Back up straight to push out the waves. It's too late. It's over. GG. Well played. The representatives of NA bring down Malaysia down to their feet. And with that win, the Ohio brothers took down homeboys' only chance of advancing to the next stage.
Now let's check out the final match between Blacklist International versus Fireflux Esports. This is a no-bearing match as both teams are already secured to advance regardless of the result. And we also have a debut pick for Leeward from the side of Fireflux. The game starts off hot with an amazing set from Apex 47. Attacked by the penalty zone, time journey is going to save them all. Are they going to disengage? No, oh, the pullback by the implosion is going to be able to find three, make it four. Oh my goodness! And they continue to punch Blacklist on the next turn. One might wonder if it's the only thing they can do. Here we go, penalty zone once again into the nether realm oh. instantaneously. Everyone's trying to peel them off, but Tansy has already found the initial kill. Time wow. journey just was. By the 15 minute mark, the lead has reached 10,000 gold, forcing Blacklist to lose game one. And here's the MVP giving homage to the Queen, Rosa the Torn Queen. But the V3, 1v4, Rosa, 100% kill participation. On game two, there was a lot of lead changes, forcing the game to reach 23 minutes. Ultimately, the match was decided by this Lord fight. Right, it's getting low. Oh no, that's spatial migration already out. Renegade's looking for the initial kick and he finds it. They're looking to burst it down. Oh. They still get the line. Now the realm to keep them alive. Oh, heaven's still in trouble. This alien comes alien. with a raging Boom. slash. Alien takes him out. It's only a fury hammer, man. Sunshine is able to take out Edward in response. Renegade loses his immortality, flickers out of there, conceal to continue the chase. The end game boss music is playing, and Rosa says hello, it's me, the Thorn Queen! Here for a win, Firefox with waves, Rosa! Let's try it again, Tsui, he's going for another reset, he needs the energy, they're looking for the crystal, they're oh. looking for the end, they're looking to make the statement! There we go! GG, well played! 2 and O oh for the side of Firefox Esports! And it's a clean sweep for Fireflux Esports, placing them as the number one seed in Group B. The MVP is, is the Torn Queen again, yeah, proving his dominance go. in the mid lane Rosa, position. Now the loss has settled. The final eight teams that will advance are the following. Onyx Esports. See you soon. Fireflux Esports. Blacklist International. AP Bren. Burmese Goals. Geek Fam. And Deuce Vault. And to decide the matchups on the knockout stage, the organizers had to draw lots. Yes, that's right. The teams didn't know who they'll match up with until the group stages are done. And the result came out like this Fireflux vs. Deuce Vault on match 1. Onyx vs. Blacklist on match 2. AP Bren vs. See You Soon on match 3. And Geek Fam vs. Burmese Goals on match 4. All teams will start on the upper bracket. If they lose, they go down the lower bracket to face the other losing teams. All matches are best of 5 except for the grand finals, which is a best of 7. And that's it for our daily recap of the M5 tournament. See you on the knockout stages. Stay safe and thank you for watching.